Hello everybody, I'm Marvin Bironji and um, I'm here to teach you how to play the trumpet and this time I'm specifically going to emphasize um, the previous video that I had just made, something that had to talk about um, building range, how to play high notes, but then this time I want us to, I, I'm just going to talk about the process, I want us to talk about the process, the best way to make it to playing high notes. So many people have been asking me about the um, the tongue arcing and how it's going to help you, how it helps you to build your range. So this is where I'm going to put my concentration on the tongue arcing and how it builds your embouchure. So um, for those that didn't understand the previous video, I am um, now specifically working on the tongue arcing. So this is what we are going to work on today. Whenever you don't understand anything, please come back, ask, put those uh, comments, keep those comments coming in and I need to know how you feel about this approach. I want you to understand very well how to play trumpet and all that, all these techniques of playing trumpet. And so let's get started. If you want to build your range on trumpet, one thing you are going to need to know is it's going to be a gradual process. It's going to be a slow process, a process that you are going to need to learn to love and uh, that way the process will love you too but then if you don't like the process man it's never going to like you back so you need to love the process you need to know that this process is going to work you need to believe in the process so that we can increase our range so that we can get a really good range on the horn now how does tongue arcing really help us to um how does it really help to make our range much much better now, this is how it happens. Now, first and foremost, I'll recommend an exercise in the urban, in the complete urban method book. It's um, it's on page forty-two about the slurs. Eh? Now, you need to know that <clears throat> slurring moves hand in hand with tongue arcing, because when you when you are playing a note and then uh, when you are playing, say, an interval from uh, C to E, you'll need to know that. Um, you are pronouncing in your mouth, you'll have to be pronouncing something like tai, tai. Say, you want more from? Basically, I'm just doing tai, 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 you tongue tai. So, now, you're going to start with um, something of a sort, but then do it on all your on all your harmonics of the trumpet, all harmonic, all the um, flexibilities on the trumpet. That is from um, C to G, then to C again, then to E, then to G, and then to B flat, and then to C. First, start with that range. You know, you first make it very very comfortable to play through that range because it's very important. Now. We begin from there and then that's when we advance to these really really high notes basically like i said before we need to start slow and go on increasing our range slowly by slowly this is going to work out now many people have been asking me about the tongue arcing now where does the tongue arcing apply in this um in this harmony in these uh, flexibilities little flexibilities that i'm doing right now now the tongue arcing happens automatically when you are pronouncing when you're coming from a to ye. Definitely, your tongue your tongue is going to go from ta ye, ta ye, ta ye. Just lifts a little bit depending on the on the interval, on the wideness of the interval. So let me do it again so we can get it very well. See, I'm just pronouncing ta -i -a -i -a -i -a. Now, you need to start, you know, when you are learning something new, so you want to increase range, you must understand that you are starting from the known, from what you from what you know to the unknown, to what something that you don't know, something that you are trying to learn. Now, this is kind of like the easy, the easiest slur you can you can like play right now. You understand? The slur from C. Up to E. Now you go on increasing these slurs as you go on upwards. 
just like I described in the previous video. But then this time, I, I want to break it down for you very well so that you can understand how to do it. Now, let's go to E and G. Remember, ta -i -a -i -a -i -a. it's very, very crucial. You are going to see it on um, page 42 in the complete urban method. It's a method that really, really works. I promise you that. So let's go on together. So yes, like that, you come from the C and E, then um, to, the, to the E and G, then G to the B flat, doing the same thing, exactly the same process, then B flat to C, when you do those slurs and they are really happening so easily on your embouchure, then you are ready to go. That's, that's really, really good progress. If you haven't gotten those notes, at least first get those notes first, and then we go on steadily to the next thing. So, I hope you've already gotten your horn out of your case, because this is something that we are going to need to do together. I do it, then you do it. Next, we shall go to the G and B flat. Don't forget, please, keep with me. This is how tongue arcing is working. It's, this, is, this is tongue arcing doing all these things. Don't, don't forget that. Now, we are going to go from, um, from B flat to C. Yes, still, there is that slight movement of the tongue as it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Remember, when you get to a point when your lips, um, your chops are no longer producing the notes the way they are being done in this video, please put your horn down, take a rest, and then reset. Come back after maybe, it might be a minute, it could be 30 seconds, it could be maybe two minutes. Whatever time that you are used to taking between these intervals of um, practice, take that rest and then come back again. Now, you'll have to do these, uh, these uh, slurs from middle C up to high C. Please get these in check. Let those be mastered very well on a daily basis because you are now increasing your range. Now, each and every time that um, you feel like you have that that the, the interval that you've been practicing very well in your grasp just if you have that in mind just go to something else go to hit the next note above it don't worry about it it's you have it now that's in your range now go for something higher always aim higher whenever you are practicing that's very very important so let's go to C and and uh, C and D um, high C and D Slurring, tongue anchoring, is all that's happening while I'm saying ta -i -a -i -a -i -a -i -a So, basically you're going to keep increasing range up to whatever note that you can get to and um, <clears throat> remember while you're doing this you need to have a metronome besides you you need to make sure that this is what you are doing the whole time and um, um, I promise you, this is really going to work wonders for your embouchure. So keep these uh, things in good shape. Keep your remember to keep your form. Don't press, don't press the mouthpiece on your lips. So make sure you are practicing on a daily, daily basis because this is a system that works. It doesn't hurt your lips. It doesn't uh, hurt any of your body parts. So just keep practicing like that and you are going to get it after a very short time. So uh, I hope you understood this. At least I need to know in the comments section, I need to know how, if, if it has really worked for you. And uh, in order to watch this video, in order to understand this video very well, you must have watched my previous video of um, how to play high notes because this is sort of a continuation because I'm just trying to reply to a few comments that um, 
that happened to come in about the tongue arcing and everything so keep trying this and i promise you it's going to work for you so i'm birunji marvin martin and please have a great time <laughs>